Let's take a look at putting the beer together. So we've put the centre background in and we're going to put the fluted frame around the edge. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Have a look at the back to see it's nice and even. Totally repositionable if it's not. And let's press this into position. Press from both sides using steam. Right, we've made a sandwich, so we have some quilt muslin on the back, we have a piece of batting in the middle, and then we have our top fabric with our design on it. Let's pin our corners to make that stable, and let's start stitching around the outside, inside edge of the fluted frame. Using a blanket stitch. So we're just running the needle on the inside of the frame. We start in one of the valleys of the outside flute, work around the outside edge of those curves and we're going to stop with our needle down in the centre of the valley, one stitch across, turn and carry on with the next hill, hills and valleys. You may have to adjust your stitch length to get the right amount of stitches in between the two valleys of this design. Now we're going to stitch the detailing of the bear. So we'll stitch his tummy first. You can see that I've actually got my uh, blanket stitch happening on to the right hand side of my foot. Now not every machine is able to do this but it's easier to use an applique foot and have the needle to the right hand side um, so as it's actually a nice way of directing your fabric against the edge of the foot. Now I'm not stopping and turning as much as I would on some machines because I've lightened the foot pressure off just one one notch and that allows me to turn under the foot quite easily without any puckering occurring. Of course we've sped up this video so as that you can see what we're doing but to watch every stitch complete is probably a little lengthy and laborious as a viewer. So we're completing this first leg and then we'll go around the outside of the bear. So we're going to do the head between the ears. We've done his face. I've used a variety of contrasting threads, different beige threads, bone, pink, etc. Um, on the beer that's holding the balloons, I've just used one colour. Inner curves seem to be slower than outer curves. Just take your time at doing this, enjoy the process. The stitch width and stitch length is really dependent up to you. Um, I've set the machine at 3.0 and 3.0. When I'm doing smaller detailing like the nose and the eyes, I'll reduce the stitch down to 2.5 or even 2 in width and length. The ideal for a blanket stitch is to form a symmetrical square with the pattern. Sometimes that setting might be different for length and for width, just depending on what machine you're using. Like using an applique foot, an open toed applique foot, so um, I can see the stitches forming.
So I'm going to place my template over my work. And I'll just put a little bit of tape, um, washi tape inside. I'm placing some carbon paper underneath the stencil or the, the layout. And I'm just poking little holes along the stems of these flowers and also at the points of all the leaves. I just want to mark my centre of my flower just so I know which one it is. So it's the centre. So that when we're hand working it we can work to the centre. So we're going to hand stitch these leaves rather than actually applique them. But first of all we need to do the stems. So using a saddle stitch or a triple stitch. So, what the, so it's one forward, one back, two forward, one back, etc. We're going to follow the line up until where it finishes. Then we're going to turn the work and then stitch back down on top of the stitching. A, this makes the stem thicker. And B, it covers up our markings. If you see some bobbin thread coming through, because I'm using a white bobbin, just reduce your top tension a little bit. The shorter the stitch on a triple stitch, then the more likelihood of seeing a few errant bobbin threads coming through. If you start at the centre point of the flower and then work back, um, you, you basically finish back in the flower again and there's going to be a stitching coming over that. So with the second bear, you can see that I've used just one, one colour thread. I've already done the, the triple stitch for the balloon ties that are going into his little hand. And we're just going to stitch around the outside edge of our balloons. In the video it looks like my contrast thread is not very, is not very different from the actual colour, but it actually is. Last of all, we need to do the features on the face. So with a smaller blanket stitch, I think I've used two and two, two length, two width, just applique around the edge of our little nose. You're going to have to start and stop and turn and start and stop and turn, etc. It's not, it's not easy, but it is totally achievable. Some people would actually hand stitch or hand embroider the nose. And they would also hand embroider the eyes. I'm just stitch, going to stitch over top of the eyes and basically just going to do one stitch and then turn one stitch, then turn. But I've got an errant thread here, so I'm going to actually start that again. Pull the thread out, start one more time. Right, that's better. One. So I'm just going across, just making sure that my needle lands inside my black fabric of my eye. Again, this could be done by hand with a few hand stitches would probably be easier if you don't feel that the machine is going to be sufficient. So there we have it. A quick way of appliquing around the edge of a beer. Hey guys, thanks for watching another So Sweepy tips and tutorial video. Make sure you go check out our new Facebook community, So Sweepy, for more tips like this and other great designs.